Don. But I don't want no tea. It gives me a headache. Oh, uh, well, uh, uh, what shall we have then? Coffee. Hey everyone, I'm back. It's uh, 9-11, 2011, 10 years on the anniversary of uh, the planes crashing into the Twin Towers. Um, been watching the shows and stuff. Um, also, football came on. And so I decided, well, while I'm watching football in my hobby room, I might as well go ahead and work on my, um, my sub. So I want to tell you that yesterday was our model meeting also. Had a great time. Uh... Marion showed up and uh, brought me some really cool things. He bought me a nice book. It's called the uh, it's called the uh, the U boats and uh, good little reference guide. Has some good pictures in it and stuff like that. I also picked up my book that Joel um, I bought from Joel. It's called the U boat. This is a really nice book. A lot of line drawings. Um, you know, every kind of U-boat that was from World War II, it shows it. It shows um, all sorts of uh, great information, you know, like this, like line drawings like this. A really great book. It's going to help me tremendously with this model. So I'm glad that Joel offered it uh, a couple meetings, or not meeting and go. We, we were all talking about U-boats, and he put it out there on the uh, uh, club email and stuff and he uh, said hey does anybody want to buy a book about u-boats i'm like yeah well, i'll buy it so i ended up getting it and it is a really good book also like i said marion brought me this little toy it, it's like a kit toy he got it at a model convention and basically what it is is you buy each section of the u-boat and this is also happens to be 144 scale the same thing i'm working on perfect so you buy each section and it makes the whole thing. Well, he talked to the guy. The guy had one complete U-boat left, all the all the sections. So he bought that. Now he's lent it to me, and it's really neat. What it's going to help me with is well, the line drawings got in a book will help me, but also what this will help me with is that where the limber holes are, like right here, you will see on the other side. Oh, like you could probably see through there. So those limber holes won't be covered up with the inner hole. You go down the line, you're looking at each one. You know, you can see here's more of the holes that I've cut out on this one. Just happens to be, let's see, the same holes right here. Okay, so you can see the two together. And that'll tell me, if I look on the other side, oh yeah, I can probably see through there to the other side. So my inner hole will be lower than those holes. Perfect. You go down the line, you can do that all the way down each section. Um, here's some beds and sleeping quarters. Here's the command section. You got the captain and the guys in there, periscopes come down there, everything like that. I said, here, well, here's, the, here's the engine section. And then you got the, another living quarters and everything like that. You got a guy, you got a guy on a toilet. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, but you got some food or supplies here. But you got guys sleeping, working. Uh, you got your front torpedo room. You know, there's a guy. There's a guy running. Hey! And you got torpedoes stacked up here and there. They even give you torpedoes you can put in, like on the front here. You can go like this, like it's firing a torpedo. Isn't that cool? That is really neat. It's a cool toy, but it's actually accurate. So that's the cool part about it, is that they went through and, you know, made it an interior, made the exterior match and everything like that. So it's really unique. So I want to thank Marion for that. That's going to help me out tremendously when I go to make the inner hull on my sub. All right, so what I've been working on today is working on the deck. Basically what I did is I just did some easy work on this part. Just did some hatches, uh, you know, some detailing. Here's where the uh, 88 sits up here, the 88 millimeter gun sits up here. Uh, this is extra webbing, or I don't know what it was used for, but it's part of the photo etch set. Looked good. I haven't checked the pictures yet, but I'm pretty sure they're in there. And I got hatches and all that stuff like that. So I did that. Here's the hard part I did I created the little tub here.
and it was fun. It was easy to bend up the sides, but the fun part was when I had to make up, I hope you can see this, the little hinges here, little tiny, tiny hinges. I said, oh my god, I had to put not only half the hinge on the back part, but then hook that hinges into these hinges, and then put on the bulkhead here. This just flaps down, as you know, as they load the torpedo, they load it in through here, and they, this whole assembly comes down, seals it, it's a watertight seal. <sighs> Couldn't believe I did it, I was so happy. Basically what it does is it fits on here. Now I'm not going to put it, I'm not going to install it yet. And the part, I, the part of the deck I cut out, it fits right in here. So now you know how it works with that. And the torpedo will load in. And I'll have the little tools for that, I mean, the ramps for that and everything set up right there. But I'm not going to glue it in yet. Because I've got some measuring to do for the inner hull and everything else. And I don't want that on there. And I don't want to break off the hatch and everything else. I'd be highly agitated. But that's pretty much it. Just wanted to thank Marion uh, and all the. Not only has Marion lent me this stuff, but his knowledge is in U boats is vast. Um, like I said, this is called the Winter Garden. He told me this is the part I did all the rails on. This is called the Winter Garden. I didn't. I had heard that before, but I didn't associate it with the, this part where the rails were. So that's cool. Um, he, he's Marion's. Real good friend, real smart on U-boats, um, so I'm happy to have him as a friend. I'm happy to have everybody in the club as my friend. Uh, anytime I ask for help or reference, everybody's willing to knows anything about what I'm talking about, is willing to jump in and give me a hand. Um, I'm willing to help anybody I know knowledge on to help them and, and give them advice. So it's a great. I love going to my model meetings once, once a month. It's a joy for me to go because we have a great time. And we talk about a lot of neat stuff, and we talk trash and everything else too, but what the heck, we're just a bunch of guys. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll get back to, to you all when I finish up my next section or whatever I'm going to do. I think I'm going to start working on designing the inner hull for this. Now that I've got the book, and I've got this wonderful model that Marion gave me, I have no excuse not to do it. i just got to get up the gumption and do it. It's going to be a lot of... Um, folding, bending of plastic and stuff like that. I'll get it done and then I'll have to um, paint the interior black, black everything out so you won't see through it and put the two halves together. Then it'll be really fun because that's what a part I'll really like is we'll do the sanding, get the ridges gone, add a little detail on the sides, put the deck on. That's when it comes a lot more fun. All right, well, I'll see you on my next video.